Hey everyone, welcome back to BioInfo Tips. Today, we're learning how to perform the analysis of your lab obtained data, from the data cleaning to the graph plotting. Understanding the different steps of this analysis is essential for working your data and publish your results the right way. So, let's get started. Before we jump into the analysis, it's crucial to have well organized data. In GraphPad Prism, you can easily input your dataset by clicking on the Enter Data tab. Here, you'll create four separate data tables for each group. Ensure your data is arranged in columns, with each column representing a different group. Once you've entered your data, GraphPad Prism provides a clear overview, allowing you to double check for any typos or inconsistencies. These 20 data points in each group represent a hypothetical scenario. It could be anything from experimental measurements to survey responses. Having a clear understanding of your dataset is fundamental to accurate and insightful analysis. With our data set up, the next critical step is checking for outliers. Outliers can significantly impact the results of statistical tests, so it's important to identify and address them appropriately. In GraphPad Prism, head to the Analyzing tab and select Outlier Test. This opens up a range of outlier detection methods, such as Grubbs Test or the ROUT method. I'll guide you through the process of choosing the most appropriate method for your data and interpreting the results. Removing outliers can be a delicate process, and GraphPad Prism provides a user-friendly interface to help you make informed decisions while maintaining the integrity of your dataset. Once we've identified and potentially removed outliers, we'll discuss how to update our dataset in GraphPad Prism. It's essential to document any changes made to the data to maintain transparency and reproducibility. Outlier checking is not just about data cleaning, but also about ensuring the reliability of our analysis. By the end of this section, you'll feel confident in handling outliers in your data, setting the stage for a more robust statistical analysis. With outliers addressed, our next crucial step is to assess the normality of our data. GraphPad Prism offers convenient tools for this in the Graphs tab under Statistical Analyses. We'll explore Normality Plot and Shapiro-Wilkes Test to evaluate whether our data follows a normal distribution. I'll guide you through the interpretation of normality plots and test results, emphasizing the importance of meeting the assumption of normality for certain statistical tests. Understanding the distribution of your data lays the foundation for selecting the appropriate statistical test in the next section. Remember, GraphPad Prism simplifies the process, allowing you to focus on the insights your data holds. With outliers addressed and normality confirmed, it's time to choose the right statistical test for our analysis. GraphPad Prism streamlines this process in the Statistical Analyses section. If we have two groups, we'll opt for the TT test. For more than two groups, the ANOV, a test, is the way to go. I'll guide you through the decision-making process, considering the nature of your data and the research question at hand. Understanding the distinctions between these tests is crucial for accurate interpretation and drawing meaningful conclusions from your analysis. GraphPad Prism simplifies the selection process, ensuring that even those new to statistical analysis can make informed choices. After we've made the decision, I'll show you how to set up the analysis in GraphPad Prism, input your data, and configure the settings accordingly. The software's intuitive interface makes the process straightforward, allowing you to focus on the interpretation of results rather than getting bogged down by technicalities. Whether it's a TT test or a NOV, you'll gain a solid understanding of the steps involved, empowering you to apply these printers we navigate through the results. We'll discuss post hoc tests, multiple comparisons, and the significance of p-values GraphPad Prism offers valuable tools for exploring the nuances of your data, ensuring a comprehensive understanding of the statistical landscape. By the end of this section, you'll not only know how to conduct these tests, 
but also how to communicate your findings effectively. Whether you're a student, researcher, or enthusiast, mastering the art of data analysis with GraphPad Prism opens doors to a deeper understanding of your data and the world it represents, plus to your own data analysis endeavors. Now we just need to plot our data and denote the statistical significances in each column. An automatic plot will show up once you introduce your data. Choose the one that plots the standard deviation and denote each statistical significance accordingly. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to BioInfo Tips for more insightful content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy analyzing!